Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Now as you know, summertime is upon us and summertime means heat. And what better treat on a hot day than ice cream? Now today I'm gonna to be making three delicious ice cream flavors that are quick and easy to make. And I'm gonna show you how to make them step by step. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna start out by making the base. Now the recipe for this base is not a secret. It's been around for a long time, but it is the base for the three ice cream flavors that I'm gonna be making for you today. I'm gonna to be using a hand mixer. Now I do have a stand-up mixer, but I know that many of you out there may not have one. So I'm gonna be using my hand mixer. So I've got two cups of heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna start out by putting it into my bowl. Now I'm gonna whip this up really, really good with my mixer, just until I have soft peaks. You don't want to overbeat it, because then it can deflate on you, and then you've got a problem. Now, as you can see, there's soft peaks, you see? Just like that, and that's exactly what we want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my condensed milk. I've got 14 ounces of condensed milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here. And I'm gonna add my cocoa powder. I've got 3 fourths of a cup of cocoa powder. As you can see, I'm gonna pour that in here too. This is what's gonna give us our beautiful chocolate color. And I've got one teaspoon of vanilla. And with my mixer, I'm gonna mix it up all together. Ooh, look at this, and here we are. See? You see how the unsweetened cocoa powder gave it that beautiful chocolate color? Now I've got half a cup of salted roasted almonds. I'm gonna go ahead and add these in here. I've got three fourths of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Can you see? I'm gonna go ahead and add them in here, just like that. And I've got one cup of mini marshmallows. And I went ahead and chopped them just a little bit so they wouldn't be whole, I just chopped them in half. So you wanna put in your marshmallows in here like this. Now I'm gonna fold it all in together. Just like that. See? And it doesn't take a lot of mixing. It's just folding them in a little bit like this. Make sure that it all comes in incorporated really nicely. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them into this plastic bowl. Now I like to use this type of a plastic bowl because it's good for the freezer and it's got a nice top and it seals it really good. So this is what I'm gonna be using. Now I'm just gonna put it all into my bowl. Just like that, see? So now I'm just gonna smooth it out Mm. just like that and I'm gonna place my lid now this is ready to go to the freezer so now that my Rocky Road ice cream is in the freezer I'm gonna start out with my second ice cream flavor and that's strawberry cookies and cream ice cream and I'm gonna start out by making my base so I've got two cups of very cold heavy whipping cream right here and I'm gonna put it into my bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and whip it up until it's got nice soft peaks with my hand mixer. You see? Do you see these soft peaks? See? So now I'm gonna add my sweetened condensed milk. I've got 14 ounces right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. Now you always wanna make sure that your sweetened condensed milk and your heavy whipping cream are very cold. They just mix a lot better like that. 
And here's one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up real good with the mixer. Now I've got one pint of fresh strawberries here and I went ahead and crushed them just like this. I'm going to go ahead and dump them in here. See? Now the juice of the strawberries is also going to give it a beautiful color. Now I've got one and three fourths cup of the golden Oreo minis. These are those little mini Oreo cookies and then I broke them up into pieces because you don't want the whole little cookie but I do want them into pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in here too, just like that. And I'm gonna bring it in together. You just wanna fold it in, just like that. See, very gently. Now, do you see how the juice of the fresh strawberries are giving it a beautiful pink color? See? Now I've got some Hershey's double chocolate syrup. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little swirl. So you don't want to mix it. You just want to bring it in together just like this. See? Just a little bit. Just like that. And that's going to give it a beautiful color. You see? Now I've got my plastic container right here. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. Just like that. I like to put a little bit of the chocolate on top, just a little swirl like this. And then just move it around real slow, just like that. So you can have some of that pretty chocolate swirl. Just like that. See? Now I've got my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on top. And here we are. Now this is going to the freezer. So now that I've got my strawberry cookies and cream ice cream in the freezer, I'm gonna get started with my third and last. This is gonna be Nutter Butter M&M's ice cream. Super delicious. And I've got two cups of very cold heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and beat it with my mixer until I have very nice soft peaks. See these pretty soft peaks? That's exactly what we want, just like that. I want to go ahead and put in my sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to go ahead and whip it up just enough until it all comes in together. Don't overbeat it. I have one and three-fourths cup of Nutter Butter cookies. These are those little mini ones. And I just went ahead and broke them up into pieces like this. Because you don't want the whole cookie in there. So I just broke them up. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. See? Just like that. And I have one-fourth of a cup of M&M's. I'm going to go ahead and put them in here too. Now I'm just going to fold them in together. See? Just like that. And I've got my plastic container. I'm going to go ahead and pour it all into my container. Now before I pour it all in, I'm going to put in a little bit of a chocolate swirl. Just like that. Then I'm going to finish pouring it all in. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of this chocolate swirl, just a little bit like that. See? And then I'm just going to fold it in very carefully. Look at that. 
See? Now I'm going to go ahead and put my top on it and seal it. Now that I have it nice and sealed, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer too. So my ice cream has been sitting out in the freezer all night and it's ready to go. Let's check it out. So I've got my scoopers in hot water so it'll be easy to scoop it out because it's really very hard. Now five minutes helps. You always want to let it sit out for about five minutes. It'll be easier for you to serve. I'm going to try going with a big scooper. Mm. Oh, <laughs> let's taste this one. This is Rocky Road ice cream. Mm. Mm. The crunch of the almonds. Oh, man. Mm, are better than store-bought. So this is my Rocky Road. Now let's taste the other one. So this is my strawberry cookies and cream. See? Now let's check this one out. So this is my strawberry cookies and cream. Now let's check out the last one. So this is my Nutter Butter M&M's ice cream. Let's check this one out. of the M&M's with a Nutter Butter peanut butter cookie. Oh, it's out of this world. Now you've seen all three of my ice creams. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me which one you like the most. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.